All right, yesterday I had a little bit of a technical difficulty. The camera ran out of battery and room on my memory card, so. <clears throat> Let me start this over. Um, we were on the dying of the uh, piece of leather that we molded. It's uh, completely dry now. The, mo the mold is held up pretty well. It's pretty uh, pretty firm. And so what I want to do first is I want to take some of this Phoebe's Edge Coat. And what it does is kind of smooths the edge down a little bit. I, I already started a little bit of it. Uh, that's when the camera cut off. But um, get in here and get a good coat of it on the edge. It's a little bit thicker dye than the regular uh, dye itself, so it looks pretty good on the edge. I like it with a little bit of brown. The way I like to apply the edge coat is with a Q-tip. Because that Q-tip will let you control it a little bit better than a wool dauber that you use on the, uh, the dyeing itself uh, for the main piece. The dye that I have is EcoFlow. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's not a bad dye. It gets it gets the job done pretty well. It's probably not the best, but uh, it's not a bad one. Um, don't shake your dye or your edge coat. I like to just roll it like this. Uh, when you shake it, it's going to create air bubbles inside of it, and so they don't recommend uh, shaking it. So. And whenever I go to apply the dye on the piece itself with the EcoFlow. I'll use this wool dauber here. They're cheap. Um, and I'll, I'll show that here in a second. But uh, I like to wear rubber gloves and have a paper towel handy because the stuff is kind of nasty. So basically what I'm doing is taking it, put it on the Q-tip, and then put it on the edge of my leather here. And it'll seal the edge pretty well. It soaks in pretty well. Uh, and it leaves that good black dark edge on it. I like to do it, like I said, with, with brown um, leather and I'm more precise with this Q-tip than you are that dauber so you don't spread it all around. And uh, the brown pops out a lot more when it has a real dark black edge line around it. So um, You need to put your edge coat on first because if you try to dye it and then put the edge coat on it, I don't know. For me, I haven't had good results with it like that. So I try to put the edge coat on first. And this stuff stains everything, so definitely want to wear rubber gloves and have your paper towels down. But uh, there you go, just, just apply it around the edges, and as you can see, it just darkens up the edges really well. Pretty simple. The next thing I'm going to use is this EcoFlow, and I'm going to use it on the leather itself. This stuff kind of stinks a little bit, so uh, you know, make sure you got decent ventilation. You're not just hemmed up in a little tiny room, kind of like I am. But uh, I'll be hypocritical for a little bit. Um, but what you want to do is get in there and stir it with your wool dauber comes out kind of thick and uh, I'm gonna paint the back or paint I'm gonna dye the back side of this first because I want it to be black all the way inside now that way uh, you know it looks pretty good and you're not staring at a half done project the uh, the back side I'm not too worried about it's a little more porous than the front side it's gonna soak up a lot of this uh, leather dye pretty quickly so I'm just kind of smathering it on there, kind of thick. It's not going to matter much. You're not going to see it anyway. I just like to be thorough. That way, if you did look in the inside of the holster, the uh, the inside of it is blacked out. So, like I said, on the inside here, I'm just kind of smathering it on there. Doing my best to make it look good. For the most part, this that part right there will never be seen. So, but I did want it to uh, to look kind of good there. All right, 
Now, well, like I said, I ain't too worried about it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set it down. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Um, now, the front part is where you wanna get kind of particular with your dyeing. Um, I like to put it on, not real super thick, but uh, put it on kind of thick and go in one direction with it. And I'll show you why here in a second. Um, for your, you're gonna wanna put at least two coats on it. For your first coat, go one direction. For your second coat, turn it around and go the other direction. Because when this dries, um, and it won't take too long to dry, you'll see that it has little imperfections in it and uh, that go along with the, uh, the way that you're pulling the brush across it. So you'll want to uh, make sure you turn it around the other way to cover those imperfections. So, and this, uh, this leather will take and absorb some of the dye too, so you don't want any streaks in it. Uh, this stuff this stuff dries fairly quickly within a couple about an hour or so it'll dry um, it'll kind of flash over and you can kind of see it get a little bit duller I'm not sure if you can pick it up on my crappy camera here but it's a little bit duller um, where it's starting to dry out already and on this side where I just applied it it's still pretty pretty shiny so whenever it's good and dry and dull that's when you know you're uh, you're good to go for uh, touching it and handling it you know and always use your you can always use your finger for a, a tacky test you know but try not to get any of this stuff on you because it will stain your clothes it will stain you and it's not easy to come off That's really all it takes to dye some leather. It's pretty straightforward, fast, simple operation. You can't really screw it up as long as you, you know, keep your brush strokes in opposite directions and, and dye your piece. There it is, black as it gets. And uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I have a little wire hanger here and uh, I've bent it around, kind of make me a little, uh, a little holder for it and uh, what I'm going to do is take my piece and just put it on here so it will air dry on both sides. Um, I'm going to let it sit for the next probably hour or so, help the wife around the house for a few minutes and uh, then I'll come back and inspect it and make sure I didn't miss anything. If I missed anything I can take the Q-tip and uh, pat, uh, you know, put a little uh, dots here and there where I need to. but. Um, when I come back, hopefully it'll be dry. Once it's dry, we will take a look at my uh, other leather piece and we'll start riveting it in and finishing the holster. We're almost there, so I will be back shortly.